let's jump right in. We're gonna start in child's pose. So come on to your hands and knees, bring your big toes to touch, open your knees wide, extend your arms out in front of you, give yourself a little time to drop in, push into your hands, really send those sit bones back. It might be helpful to sway the hips a little and soften through the hip creases. Let your elbows drop to the floor. Let your forehead drop to the floor if it's able to touch. If not, and it's comfortable to stack fist on fist, that's a nice way to found, find a little grounding in the third eye or the forehead. Take what feels good. We're trying to release, we're trying to soften, we're trying to drop in. Close the eyes if they're not closed. Bring your awareness to your breath. Can you inhale into your back ribs, your side ribs, your front ribs? With every exhale, release a little more. Feel your bones get a little heavier, your brain get a little softer. Creating a rhythm as you breathe in and out and just letting that rhythm of breath wash over your body. Stay with this breath as you soften your attention. Awe. Awe is an emotion we shouldn't take for granted. Awe inspires a sense of vastness seeming much larger than us and the things we're used to. Finding awe in details can make small things feel supreme. And finding awe in larger landscapes can make things we thought were huge seem small. For example, we can wonder at the bright colors and fast wings of a hummingbird and fill up with awe over this tiny bird that exudes nature's brilliant design and beauty. We can have our breath taken away by an evening sunset and decide that getting cut off in traffic really wasn't such a big deal. Scientific studies have shown that as a result of the vastness that comes with awe, awe-inducing stimuli create a need for accommodation. By challenging our concept of ourselves in the world, like you may have heard when you experience awe, our mind was blown, or our world was rocked. Awe forces our mind to make space for these vast experiences. Our cognitive function expands to accommodate for these new perspectives. I offer you today the intention of finding awe, and also the simple acronym to help with that. Awe, A-W-E, attention, wait, exhale. Bring your attention to a thing, wait there with it, and then exhale. Take another big full breath in and a full breath out. Lift your head slightly, walk both hands over to the right. Bring your left hand on top of your right, give a little push down into your hands, send your sit bones back. Drop your head again and breathe into your left ribs, your left lung, full breaths in and out. Lift your head, walk your hands over to the left. Find a stretch through that right side body. Right hand stacks on top of left. Give a little push into the hands, send the sit bones back, drop the head. Breathe into the right ribs and that right lung, expanding on the inhales, softening on the exhales. Make your way back to center. 
On your next inhale, shift forward to all fours. Stack your shoulders over your wrists, knees under your hips, tuck and spread the toes. Inhale, cow, sit bones lift, belly drops, heart pulls forward and up. Exhale, cat, tuck the tail, lift the belly, push into the hands and then see if you can shift your shoulders right over your wrists. So you might need to shift a little more forward and really dome your upper back to the ceiling as you push down into your hands. Again, inhale, cow, sit bones lift, heart pulls forward. Exhale, cat, maybe you shift those shoulders a little more forward. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Last time, inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Inhale to a flat back, a neutral spine. Pause here. On your next breath in, right arm reaches to the sky. Open through your chest. Exhale, thread your right arm through. Come all the way to your right shoulder and the right side of your head. Push into the back of your right arm. Use that leverage to help you span your top shoulder back. Maybe left hand stays on the floor. Maybe left arm reaches to the sky. Maybe that left arm half binds around. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Big breath in and out. Release your left hand to the floor. Push into that hand. Inhale, unthread right arm to the sky. Reopen through the chest. Exhale, release. Other side. Inhale, reach that left arm high. Open the chest. Exhale, thread left arm through. Come all the way to that left shoulder and the left side of your head. Can you press more into the back of the left arm to spin your torso around and up? Right hand might stay where it is. Maybe that right arm reaches high. Maybe that right arm half binds. Two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One. Big breath in. And out. Release your right hand back to the floor. Inhale. Unthread left arm to the sky. Exhale and release. Tuck the toes, take a breath in to prepare. Use your exhale to slowly unfold into downward dog. Push into the hands, lengthen the spine, and at the very end of that stretch, maybe lengthen through the legs. And then take a few breaths here, explore the shape. Maybe some small movements are calling you. How can you create a little more space? How can you find a little more release? Maybe it's through the breath. Maybe it's through that movement. Then eventually land in your downward dog. Inhale, pull forward to plank. Stack shoulders over wrist. Push into the hands. Think of doming your upper back to the ceiling here. Pull the belly in. Stretch the legs long. Take a full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Again, inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more, inhale, shift forward to plank. This time, pause, gaze forward. On an exhale, bend your elbows straight back and lower to the floor. Untuck your toes, walk your toes closer to the back of your mat. Roll the shoulders back, draw the elbows in. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Lengthen your tailbone towards your heels. Energetically, imagine you could drag your hands to the back of your mat as your heart reaches forward and up. Stay for a breath in. Exhale, release. Adding on. Inhale, lift back up into your baby cobra. Push down into the tops of your feet to anchor and now hover your hands off the floor. Draw the shoulder blades together. Use the entire back line of your body to lift your chest a little higher. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. We'll take one more round, adding on a little more. Inhale, lift, baby cobra. Press into the tops of the feet, hover the hands, and then zip the legs together and now lift the feet. Engaging the back line of the legs, the glutes. One more breath in, lift a little higher. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes under, engage the legs, lift the knees off the floor. Inhale, prepare. 
Exhale, press up to plank, back to downward dog, and then find a pedal in the legs. Use that pedaling to walk your feet to your hands. Take your time. Once your feet arrive at the top of your mat, open them hip width apart. Soften your knees, shake out your head. Let go of tension in the neck. Maybe you open your mouth, stick out your tongue, let go of tension in the jaw. And come back to center with your torso. Take a breath in and find a long spine, a half lift. Rise to those fingertips. From here, I want you to soften your left knee a lot. Inhale, forward full twist, right arm reaches to the sky. Can you get longer through that right leg by pushing down into your right foot? Can you get longer through your spine? Lengthen from your right sit bone to the top of your head. Reach more through your right fingers. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release into that flat back. So spine is long, right knee bends. Inhale, reach your left arm up to the sky. Forward fold twist. Push into that left foot to lengthen the left leg. Get longer from left sit bone to top of head. Reach through those left fingers, take one more breath in. This time as you exhale, forward fold, let the head and shoulders release. Soften your knees and slowly unroll all the way up to stand. Once you arrive, take a couple shoulder rolls back. Step your feet together the top of your mat, Tadasana. Hands to heart center. Soften or close your eyes. Coming back to that intention of finding awe. Finding vast experiences that make our mind expand in order to accommodate them. A-W-E, attention, wait, exhale. Bow your forehead to your heart. And just release your arms, let your eyes crack open, lift your chin. I want us to play around with some internal and external rotation in the arm. I want you to spin your thumbs in, roll the shoulders in, and feel internal rotation. And then reverse that. Think of the outer arms, upper outer arms, rolling in towards your body, externally rotating the shoulders. Take that one more time, just see how that feels. Internally rotating. And then upper arms roll in towards the body to externally rotate. Keep that external rotation. Reach your arms overhead. And then let's feel that here. Here, the upper outer arms are still rolling in towards your body, in towards your nose. And then see how that internal rotation feels. Spin the thumbs down. Notice how your shoulders get congested. And then go back to that external rotation, upper arms roll in towards your nose. We wanna find this external rotation in our down dog, in our side angle, really rolling those upper arms in. Push into the feet, take a big breath in. As you exhale, bend your right elbow, catch it with your left hand. Inhale, pull that elbow closer to the sky. Exhale, side bend left. Send your hips to the right. Get a nice stretch through that right side body. One more breath in. And out. Inhale through center, reach your arms overhead, try and keep those pinky fingers spinning in for that external rotation. Exhale, left elbow bends, catch that left elbow with your right hand. Inhale, pull that left elbow higher. Exhale, side bend right. Anchor through your left foot, send those hips to the left. Big stretch through that left side, take one more breath in. And out. Inhale back through center, arms overhead. Big exhale to fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, yogi's choice, step or jump, and find your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, press the floor away with the hands and feet. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Can you work that external rotation in the arms? Add a soft bend to your elbows. 
Let the elbows spin down towards the floor. Let those outer upper arms spin in towards your nose. And then re-extend long through the arms and lift the hips. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up as you seal the palms. Can you seal the pinky finger first and then the rest of the palms? And then exhale, bend that right elbow and catch it with your left hand. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, bend that left elbow. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, even here. Those upper arms are rolling back and in towards the body. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep the arms around and up, seal the pinky fingers first and then the rest of the palm. Exhale, bend the right elbow, catch it with the left hand. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, center arms overhead. Exhale, bend the left elbow, catch it with right hand. Inhale, get taller. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, center, arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, spin those upper arms back and in, shoulders pull back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold and stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees, reach down, grab hold of your big toes and yogic toe lock. First two fingers and thumbs wrap around your big toes. Push toes into fingers, inhale, pull your chest forward, lengthen. On an exhale, pull fingers into toes. Think of sliding your belly over the fronts of your thighs as you fold deeper. Elbows bend to the sides, shoulders are lifting up the back. We're here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Release your hands. Heel toe your feet all the way to touch. Bring those big toes together. Surya Namaskar B. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Draw your shins back over your heels. Sink lower in the hips as you scoop your tailbone forward. Can you spin your pinky fingers in towards each other here? Find external rotation and more space in the shoulders. Draw the belly in. Take a full breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Exhale, step or jump. Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg to the sky. Melt your left heel to the floor. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. 
Inhale, right leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands. Lower your back knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana or Crescent Moon. Arms sweep forward and up. Take a moment here, work up external rotation. Pinky fingers spin in, upper arms roll in. Let your hips move forward as that front knee bends. And then bend the elbows. This time catch hold of both elbows. Can you pull on your elbows and think of lifting out of your waist? Lift the waist, lift the heart, lift the gaze. Keep pulling those elbows up as you take a back bend. So you're trying to keep that lift and keep that length as you reach up and back. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale, low lunge. Hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes. Lift your back knee. Inhale, lengthen your heart forward. Exhale, Parsvottanasana. Stretch your right leg long. That back heel can be off the floor. I want you to soften your belly to your right thigh. Soften your forehead to your shin. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. As you pull your outer right hip back, can you reach your heart towards your right toes? One more breath in. And out. Rebend your right knee, come back into that low lunge. We're crawling to the left, skandasana at the back of your mat. Left toes turn out slightly, right toes spin to the ceiling. Hands might stay on the floor, maybe they come to your heart, maybe they open wide or bind. Three breaths, inhale, exhale, one, inhale. Exhale, two, one more breath in. Exhale your hands to the floor. Traveling through our hips, take your time, use your hands. We're gonna bend that right knee and take Skandasana on the right. Just for a moment here, left toes spin to the ceiling, press that right knee open with your right elbow. And then let's crawl and make our way back to the left. Left knee bends. Right toes spin up to the ceiling. Big full breath here. Exhale, warrior two. Press off that back leg, bend your front knee, open your arms wide. Soften the shoulders. Lengthen your tailbone down. Draw the belly in and up. Can you bend a little deeper through that front knee and open your front knee to the pinky toe side of your foot. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in, and out. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, big stretch back, reverse warrior. Create more space across your right hip crease as you bend that right knee deeper and stretch through your right ribs. Full breath in. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Right forearm to right thigh, left arm reaches to the ceiling. I want you to take that left arm and reach it straight towards the left side of your room. So you're just lowering that left arm in front of your chest. Turn your left palm to face the front of your room. We're trying to lead with that left pinky finger now as we slice that left arm overhead. So your upper left arm is rolling down towards your nose. We're finding that external rotation in the shoulder, but then use your bottom arm, push into that bottom leg to help spin your torso around and up to the ceiling under that left arm. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Right hand might slide down to the floor. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Inhale, reverse triangle, right leg stretches, right side stretches. Exhale, turn your right toes in, fold your torso over your left leg. 
Crawl your hands to the top of your mat, low lunge facing front, and we'll move through our flow. Inhale, plank, maybe you float your right leg. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here to reconnect, reset. And we'll take all of that on the left. Inhale your left leg to the sky. Melt your right heel to the floor. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward. Inhale, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Lower your back knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana or Crescent Moon. Those arms sweep forward and up. Spin the pinky fingers in. Roll the upper outer arms in. Bend your feet in front knee, let your hips move forward, and then bend the elbows. Catch hold of those elbows. See if you can pull the elbows to the ceiling. Lift up out of your ribs, lift your chest, lift your gaze, keep lifting up and add that back bend. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, reach your heart forward. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, stretch the left leg. That back heel can stay lifted. Soften your belly to your front thigh, your head to your shin. Inhale. Exhale, one as that left hip pulls back, reach your heart forward. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in and out. Rebend your front knee, come back into a lunge. Walk your hands to the right, skandasana at the back of your mat. Right toes turn out slightly, left toes spin to the ceiling. Hands might stay on the floor for this first one. Maybe they come to your heart. They could open wide or bind. Staying in this first one for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale your hands to the floor. Use your hands to crawl yourself to your left. Skandasana at the top of your mat. Right toes spin to the ceiling. Then we're going to crawl ourselves back to the back of our mat. Skandasana at the back. We're here for a breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Press off your back foot. Front knee bends, arms open wide. Can you find a little lift under the inner arch of your back foot? Use that to activate the inseam of your back leg as you bend your front knee deeper. Three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one, lengthen the tailbone down. Inhale. Exhale, two, draw the belly in and up. Take one more breath in. Soften your shoulders as you exhale. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse. Move that front shin forward. Lengthen across that left hip crease through your left ribs. Take one more breath in. Exhale, modified extended side angle, left arm to left thigh, right arm to the sky. Take that right arm, reach it forward towards the right side of your space. Turn your right palm to face the front of the room and then lead with that pinky finger. Cast that right arm overhead. You're rolling your upper arm down, it feels a little strange, and then push your left arm into your bottom leg to help you spin your torso to the ceiling under that right arm. Inhale, exhale, one, maybe left finger slide down to find the floor. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in and out. Inhale, reverse triangle, stretch the legs, reach that left arm up and back. Exhale, turn your left toes in, fold your torso over your right thigh. Crawl your hands to the left, low lunge, top of mat, and we'll move through our flow. 
Inhale, plank. Maybe you float that left leg. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog for three breaths. Always an option to take child's pose. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Let's move through that flow one more time, right and left. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend the knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Big exhale to fold. Here we go. Inhale, sit low, Utkatasana. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, lower your back knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana, arms sweep up. On your exhale, bend the elbows and catch hold. Pull the elbows towards the ceiling, take a breath in, find that lift, find that back bend. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Inhale, heart lengthens forward. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, legs lengthen, torso folds. Inhale, re-bend your right knee. Exhale, Skandasana, back of mat. We're here for one breath in, maybe hands stay on the floor, maybe they come to your heart. Exhale, Skandasana, on the right. Take a breath in. Exhale, Skandasana, on the left. Full breath in, exhale, warrior two. Right palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse. Exhale, your version of side angle. Parsvakanasana, maybe forearm to thigh, maybe right fingers to the floor, but see if you can sweep that left arm all the way overhead. Inhale, reverse triangle, right leg lengthens, reach up and back. Exhale, right toes turn in, fold over your left leg. Crawl your hands to the top of your mat. Low lunge facing front. Find your flow. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Left side, inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, step your left foot forward, lower your back knee. Inhale, Anjane Asana, reach up. On an exhale, bend the elbows, catch those elbows, pull the elbows up, lift the heart as you inhale, find that back bend. Exhale, low lunge, hands to the floor. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee, inhale, heart reaches forward. Exhale, Parsvottanasana, stretch the legs and fold. Inhale, re-bend that left knee. Crawl the hands to the right, exhale, skandasana, back of mat. Hands might stay on the floor, maybe they come to the heart, take a breath in. Exhale, skandasana, top of mat. Take a breath in. Exhale, skandasana, back of mat. One more breath in. Exhale, warrior two. Left palm to the ceiling, inhale, reverse. Exhale, your version of Parsvakanasana, form to thigh, fingers to the floor, but sweep that right arm overhead. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg stretches, reach up and back. Exhale, turn those left toes in, fold over your right thigh. Crawl your hands to the top of your mat, low lunge, facing front. Inhale, your version of plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. 
and out. Inhale, rise to toes, gaze forward. Exhale, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to hands. Inhale, half lift. Big exhale to fold and stay. Heel to your feet, hip width apart. Soften your knees, and this time, Pada Hastasana. Lift the feet, slide your hands all the way under your feet so that your toes find your wrist creases. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, pull your chest forward, and use that exhale to fold. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Can you push down into your feet? Keep those hands locked under your feet, but imagine you could pull your hands out from under your feet. Take one more breath in and out. Release your hands, soften your knees, and slowly unroll all the way up to stand. Take a couple shoulder rolls back, step your feet together, hands to heart center. Check in, find your breath, come back to your intention. Inhale, one-legged mountain, left knee lifts, arms sweep overhead. Exhale, Garudasana Eagle, bend that right knee. Try and double wrap left leg over, left arm under. Squeeze your legs together, sit low. Squeeze your arms together, lift them high. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Sit a little lower as you exhale. Keep these eagle arms. Inhale, one-legged mountain with eagle arms. And on an exhale, just take a big step back with that left leg. We're setting up for Parita Trikonasana. Hips are square, legs are straight, heels are grounded. Anchor through your left heel. Inhale, lift your elbows, lift your heart. Exhale, Parvrita Trikonasana. Spread the arms wide as you reach your torso forward. A little more moderate twist. Left hand stays inside right foot. A little deeper twist, left comes, hand comes to the outside of your right foot. Try and keep that back heel grounded. Right hip pulls back as your heart lengthens forward. Inhale, three breaths. Exhale, one. Can you get longer as you breathe in? Twist deeper as you exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, release. Crawl your hands to the left, wide-legged straddle. Toes are turned in. Grab a hold of those big toes in yogic toe lock. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And on an exhale, fold. Press down and out through the heels. Inhale, lift more through the sit bones. Use your exhale, think of pulling your collarbones towards the floor. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release your hands, soften your knees, slowly roll all the way up to stand. Star pose, toes turn out, heels turn in. Extend your arms up on the high diagonals. Take a big breath into this X shape. Exhale, horse pose, knees bend and open wide, hands come to heart center. Twice more, inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, stay there. Bring your hands to your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, twist right. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down, twist left. Inhale, star pose, rise back up, reach back up. As you exhale, release your arms alongside your body. Pivot around to face front for a high lunge. So pivot on the ball of that back foot, square off and reach your arms towards the sky, nice. Draw the belly and front ribs in, preparing for warrior 
three. Pinky fingers are spinning in towards each other. Shoulders have some space. When you're ready, glide onto that right leg. Now, if arms out in front of you is too much, you could bring your arms alongside your body or hands to prayer. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale, standing splits. Hands find the floor. Can you float that left leg a little higher as you drop your head? Inhale. Exhale, one. Maybe you catch that right ankle with one or both hands. Two. One more breath in. Listen closely. Exhale, setting up for half-seated spinal twist. Bend both knees. Tuck that left leg behind you. Bring it to the floor and have a seat. So the sole of the right foot is grounded outside that bottom leg. Bring your right fingers behind you. Inhale, left arm high. And on an exhale, twist to the right. Shoulders are soft. Eyes are soft or closed. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. And out. Gently release through center around to the left. Take a little counter twist. And then move back through center. Swing that right leg behind you, coming into pigeon. Scooch this left knee over to the left. Work to spin your right hip down so your hips are square. Walk your right knee and right toes as far back as you can. Take a breath in to lengthen. Stay here if this feels good. If you want to exhale and fold, that is an option as well. Great place to close your eyes. Find your breath. And with every exhale, let go. Start to make your way back up to your hands. Tuck your back toes, downward facing dog. Give your legs a pedal. Use that pedaling to walk your feet to your hands. Finding a forward fold at the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, long spine. Big open mouth, exhale as you fold. Soften the knees and roll up slowly. Roll the shoulders back, step the feet together, hands to heart center. Inhale, one-legged mountain, right knee lifts, arms reach overhead. Exhale, Garudasana, bend that left knee deeply. That'll give you some space to wrap that right leg around once or twice. Arms, right arm wraps around once or twice. Squeeze the legs together, sit low. Squeeze the arms together, lift the elbows. Inhale. Exhale, one. Can you draw your right hip back slightly? Keep the hips square. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Sit a little lower as you exhale. Keep these eagle arms. Inhale, one leg and mount with eagle arms. As you exhale, just step that right foot back. Prepping for Parvrita Trikonasana. Hips are square, legs are long. Anchor through that back heel. Inhale, lift the elbows, lift the heart. 
exhale, Parvri to Trikonasana. Get longer through your spine as you pitch forward. Right hand might stay inside that left foot. Maybe it comes to the outside. Keep your left hip back. Top of head reaches forward. Inhale. Exhale, one. Work to ground that back heel. Inhale. Exhale, two. Firm your inner thighs in towards each other to help you balance. Take one more breath in. Exhale, release. Crawl your hands to the right. Wide-legged forward fold. This time, yogi's choice. Maybe grab those big toes. Maybe take a chest expansion or a twist. Or if you feel like turning yourself upside down, tripod headstand. We're here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. If you're in tripod, take your time. Full breath out. Release the hands, soften the knees, roll all the way up to stand. Inhale, star pose. Toes turn out, heels in, arms reach up. Exhale, horse, bend the knees wide, hands to heart center. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse, and stay. Hands to your thighs. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, dip your right shoulder down, twist left. Inhale through center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder down, twist right. Inhale, star pose. Rise back up, reach up. On an exhale, let your arms release alongside your body. Pivoting into high lunge, turn on those back toes, bend your front knees, sweep the arms overhead. Draw the belly and front ribs in. Take a breath in. We're going for that big transition into warrior three. Maybe those arms keep reaching forward. If you need to adjust the arms, go for it. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Soft bend in that front knee, two. One more breath in. Exhale, standing splits. Hands find the floor, lift that right leg high. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Maybe you catch that bottom ankle with one or both hands. Take one more breath in. Exhale, prep for half-seated spinal twist. Bend both knees, tuck that right leg behind you, have a seat. Even out through the sit bones, bring your left fingers behind you, inhale, right arm high. Exhale, twist to the left. Get taller as you breathe in. Twist deeper as you exhale. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in and out. Gently release, around to the right, take a little counter twist. And come back through center to swing that left leg around. Setting up for pigeon, scoot your right knee over to the right a little. Roll your left hip down. Square the, through the hips, walk your left knee and left toes back. On an inhale, lengthen, maybe you stay upright. On an exhale, maybe you fold. Find your breath, we're here for a little while. Soften, release. Maybe you come back to that intention.
Start to walk your hands back in. Tuck your back toes, step back, downward dog. Give those legs a little pedal, head a little shake, last down dog of class. Inhale, pull forward to plank. We'll take a slow count of five to lower to the floor. Exhale, lower five, four, three, two, and one. Untuck the toes, lengthen the legs long, zip them together, reach behind you, interlace your fingers. Inhale, Shalabhasana, drive your knuckles to the back of the room, stretch the arms, lift the chest, lift the legs. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one, shoulder blades squeeze together, chest is wide. Inhale. Exhale, two. One more breath in. Exhale, release, left cheek to the floor. Look right, close your eyes. Let your body be heavy. Drop into the earth. Bring your forehead back to center. Option to take that same shape again. If you'd like to come into Dhanurasana, I'll talk you through that. Bending your knees, reach behind you for the tops of your feet or your ankles. Walk your knees in towards each other and towards the back of your mat a little more. Roll the shoulders back, push into the front of the pelvis. Inhale, lift everything away from the floor. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale, exhale, two, one more breath in. Exhale, release, right cheek to the floor, look left, drop into the floor. Close the eyes, find your breath. Forehead to the floor, hands under your shoulders, press back, child's pose. Walk your hands in, sit on those heels, swing your legs around to the front of your space. Janishir Sasana, left leg long, right foot comes into that inner left thigh. Sit up tall, there's a little twist here, turn and face your left leg and then fold forward. Walk your sit bones back. Soften over the leg. your way back up to sit. Keep it simple and just swap out those legs, right leg long. Left foot folds into that inner right thigh. Twist and face your right leg. And when you're ready, fold. your way back up to sit. Soles of the feet together, knees open wide, Baddha Konasana. Lengthen as you breathe in and on an exhale, fold. Maybe you roll out the shoulders, maybe you shake out the head. Make your way up to sit. Gently close the legs, stretch them long. Sit up tall, take a breath in, exhale and fold. 
You might walk your sit bones back a little, reach your heart forward, and then re-soften, re-fold. Start to roll up to sit. Keep on rolling onto your back and as you do, gently hug your right knee into your chest. Give that knee a squeeze as you breathe in. And on an exhale, supine twist, take your knee left, gaze right. Inhale back through center. Swap out your legs, hug your left knee in, stretch your right leg long, take a big breath in. Exhale, easy twist. Knee to the right, look to the left. Inhale back through center. Hug both knees into your chest. Bring your forehead to your knees. Big squeeze for five, four, three, two, and release. Set up for final rest. Shavasana, if it feels good to find Supta Baddha Konasana, soles of the feet together, knees open wide, great. If you'd like to take le legs long, take whatever feels good in your body. A few moments to find that, to drop in, and to let go. Start to deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, roll your head side to side. Stretch your arms overhead, stretch your legs long, full body stretch. Maybe you open your mouth, stick out your tongue or take a yawn. And bend the knees towards your chest, roll to your right. Take a pause there. And as you're ready, make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Find a tall, easy spine. Close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart.
The moment one gives close attention to anything, even a blade of grass, it becomes a mysterious, awesome, indescribably magnificent world in itself. Henry Miller. The divine light in me bows to the divine light in you. Namaste.